Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm very, very glad to be with you today. It's a little bit strange because I can't see you, but um, thank you for this opportunity. Um, yeah, so um, in, in this global uh, cultural moment, uh, and especially within the context of present day Syria, the biggest challenge we are facing today, we believe, is fixed mindset. And we believe that societies can evolve the growth to, grow, to a growth mindset, mindset by raising its awareness and developing a deep understanding of emotional intelligence and mental uh, resilience with the community. Uh, as a physical theater group uh, that uh, has worked for over 20 years in autoportrait method, nurturing the emotional intelligence of the performer, we believe that we can apply a vital role in uh, collective positivity and creativity, particularly in the young generation of artists, as well as within our society at large. So, just said, uh, it means body in Arabic, is our current project we are trying to achieve now. Uh, it's an independent space in Damascus for local community and artists for, uh, from young generation and independent artists and researchers. Uh, this space offer uh, several programs that aim to expand the awareness of the body and know more about the mind and to develop the ability of processing objective experiences and questioning outdated concepts in performing arts, developing theatrical and dance experiences, and support independent artists and local researchers. Um, and uh, we want to help them to develop their creative practice too. So the space will be, will, will offer a place for local community and artists to come together uh, and to engage in some way. Uh, why we are doing this now? <laughs> because we survived from the war, but we trapped by victim mentality that currently uh, dominates our society, makes any hope for better future seems to be impossible with its uh, deterministic view of the world. But we believe it's not true and we want to survive from this too. Of course, we face a lot of challenges uh, the biggest one, the primarily one, is with the uh, uh, economic, uh, economic uh, sanctions, which do does not even allow us to start online crowdfunding, despite that the project is totally independent from any Syrian governmental or private institutions. And by the way, <laughs> with this, nobody wants to believe that the sanctions are not on the regimes, but on citizens. So this is the, the huge problem we are facing now, or challenge we are facing now. Also, there is a, a, there is a legal system differences between Syrian independent institutions and abroad. It is a challenge too, because it makes long-term funding very difficult and sometimes unworkable. Uh, realizing and, pe and keeping artistic independency, what was always difficult, especially in Syria, because you are not allowed to be independent anyway, but we, we, we deal with it like 20 years now, but that also become more and more challenging too in these days. And there is also the inability of donor cultural institution to be independent of uh, ideological control, which is another fixed mindset for us. It becomes more difficult to deal with that and reduce. It's, it, it is reducing opportunities for any other artistic choices. I don't know if I gave all details needed about our current uh, situation here and uh, our way of thinking and what we want to achieve. I hope that I uh, <laughs> told you uh, enough about that. So. I don't know if there's any questions or I don't know. I thank you very much for this opportunity. I'm so, so glad to be here and to talk about the work. Thank you. Thank 
Thank you very much.